For every web developer who has a job, there are at least 10 who are stuck in the endless loop of learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript again and again. That's because people underestimate what it takes to become an employable web developer. On this path, there are so many different technologies to learn that many people give up midway. This video will make sure that you are not one of them. I'll also cover three mistakes that you need to avoid at any cost. Let's get started. Web development contains two parts, front-end development and back-end development. Front-end developers program the feel and behavior of a website. This is what a user actually experiences when they visit a website. Back-end developers make this behavior possible. They do some things behind the scene that users don't get to see. Think of it this way. When you go to a restaurant, you just experience the dining area, the tables, chairs, menu, and the overall ambiance. That's your front-end. Now back-end would be the kitchen of the restaurant. It's where all the behind-the-scenes action happens. Ingredient preparation, cooking and order fulfillment, all of that happens in the kitchen. In a restaurant, we also have a server. What would be the equivalent of a server in the web development world? If you are thinking that the answer is a web server, that is not correct. I'll answer this when I cover backend development in detail. But if you think you know the answer, leave a comment. Anyway, let's start with front-end development. HTML, CSS and JavaScript are the building blocks of front-end development. To understand what each one of them exactly does, let's imagine that you are building a house. HTML would be the blueprint of this house. What are the different rooms in the house? How many bathrooms will be there? All of that is HTML. For example, on YouTube, HTML is what decides that there will be a like and subscribe button here. CSS is like an interior designer that decides what your rooms look like. For YouTube, it decides the shape, color and size of the subscribe and like button. When you hit the subscribe button, the color of the button changes. That's also CSS doing its magic. JavaScript is like an electrician that installs smart home features in your house. In the YouTube example, when you hit the subscribe button, JavaScript sends a request to YouTube servers to update the subscriptions of my channel. YouTube servers will store this information and use it to recommend my next videos to you. Now that you understand the basics, Let's see how we can learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And this is where most people make their first big mistake. They spend months, sometimes even years learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that basics are not important, but the basics are just the starting point. There are a whole lot of other technologies that you need to learn in order to become an employable web developer. So I would not spend too much time here. I'll just learn the top 20% concepts that cover the 80% of use cases. I'll learn the remaining concepts in the next steps. To learn and test my knowledge at the same time, I'll go to W3 schools. For HTML, I'll start from the top and do everything until HTML graphics. For CSS, I'll do everything until CSS grid. For JavaScript, I'll cover everything until JS HTML DOM. I will add all the links to the resources in the description. Congratulations, you have covered 15% of what needs to be done to become a web developer. Let's keep going. When you start working with CSS, you'll see that same things repeat again and again. You'll set height, add padding, and fix alignment of different objects and so on. And when you do this for so many objects in your web app, your CSS files start becoming very big and hard to manage. On top of that, Debugging becomes a huge pain because there is so much repeated code. To solve all these problems, you would want to learn a CSS framework. Now there are so many different frameworks that you can choose from. Different people prefer different frameworks for different reasons. My reason is very straightforward. I would choose a framework that is easiest to learn. Once I know the basics of CSS, I want to be productive as fast as possible. If you are someone like me, you would go for Tailwind CSS. Tailwind is a utility first framework. In other words, Tailwind already has all the repeated code pre written. You just need to go to your HTML elements and use it. This makes Tailwind very easy to pick for beginners. To learn Tailwind quickly, you can go to the Tailwind playground and play around with the code. You can read their beautifully written documentation and test what you are learning in the playground. If you already know HTML and CSS, this should be fairly straightforward. If you need more help, you can also check out the official YouTube channel of Tailwind Labs. We have covered another 5% with Tailwind. Let's move on to the JavaScript framework now. Just like CSS frameworks, we also have JavaScript frameworks to make our life easy. There are again many popular options here, but we will only talk about the most popular option which is React. Technically, React is not a framework. It's a library, but that's not important for now. React makes building user interfaces more manageable by breaking them into small reusable components. React has a virtual DOM that allows it to update only part of the web page rather than re-rendering the entire thing. If you don't know what that means, 
डोंट वरी अबाउट इट यू विल लर्न एस यू गो बट वाई डिड आई पिक रियक्ट ओवर ऑल दीज अदर ऑप्शन माई रीजन रिमेन्स द सेम आई वॉन्ट यू टू गेट टू अ स्टेज वेर यू आर बिल्डिंग यूर ओन प्रोजेक्ट रियली फास्ट एंड रियक्ट इज अमंग द इजिएस्ट टू लर्न एंड मोस्ट इन डिमांड एट द सेम टाइम सो हाउ डू वी लर्न रियक्ट इफेक्टिवली द ऑफिशियल रियक्ट डॉक्यूमेंटेशन हैज मेड इट वेरी इजी फॉर अस दे हैव अ क्विक स्टार्ट गाइड विच अकॉर्डिंग टू दम कवर्स एटी परसेंट ऑफ द रियक्ट कॉन्सेप्ट दिस गाइड ऑल्सो कंटेन्स अ वॉक थ्रू ऑफ हाउ टू बिल्ड टिक टैक टू इन रियक्ट एंड दे ऑल्सो टीच यू हाउ टू थिंक इन रियक्ट देर इज अ लर्न रियक्ट सेक्शन दट आई हाईली रिकमेंड यू गो थ्रू बट इफ यू आर शॉर्ट ऑन टाइम यू कैन मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्टेप विद रियक्ट बेसिक्स यू हैव कवर्ड अनादर टेन परसेंट सो फार यू हैव जस्ट लर्न द बेसिक्स ऑफ अ फ्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज बट लर्निंग टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड एक्चुअली अपलाइंग दम टू सॉल्व न्यू प्रॉब्लम आर टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स एंड दैट्स द गैप वी आर गोइंग टू ब्रिज नाउ विद एवरीथिंग दैट यू हैव लर्न सो फार इफ आई गिव यू अ न्यू वेब एप टू बिल्ड मोस्ट पीपल आर गोइंग टू स्ट्रगल विद इट एंड दैट्स टोटली फाइन struggle is where you actually learn so if you're someone who enjoys the struggle more power to you please go ahead and start building because that's how you learn the most but for others who need a little bit of hand holding in the beginning i have a recommendation for you you can start following along with someone who's building a real world application on youtube you'll find many people building clones of popular applications like amazon or netflix my personal favorite is this channel by sony sanga his videos will introduce you to popular patterns in react he also covers some new technologies like like nextjs nextjs is a react framework that enables extra features like server side rendering if you know react nextjs is very easy to pick if you do all this you will cover another 10% of your web development journey like i mentioned earlier true learning will only happen if you start building new things by yourself building your own projects would be the next 20% of your journey but what should you actually build i recommend that you build a basic version of instagram app don't worry about videos or reels for now just build a version where people can share their photos and see a news feed containing pictures of their friends you can also add functionality to like photos and add comments showing pictures from friends might not be possible right now because we have not covered back end yet you can use some hard coded urls for now after learning the back end we'll come back to this project and build the back end as well congrats Congratulations you have successfully completed the front end part of the web development it's time to move on to the back end this is where people make their second biggest mistake which is that they fall victim to the buzz around full stack development for those who don't know full stack developers work both on front end as well as the back end now i'm not saying that you should not become a full stack developer full stack is a great end goal the point i'm trying to make is that you don't have to be a full stack developer to find your first job front end development is enough there are many jobs for front end developers so i recommend that you don't rush into the back end development test yourself early in the job market to see where you stand and you can continue learning back end on the side for the back end We'll again pick something that is easy to learn. We already know JavaScript, so the easiest thing to do would be to use JavaScript in the backend as well. JavaScript was designed to be a scripting language for web browsers. To be able to run JavaScript on the server or backend, we need to use Node.js. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime for servers. If you don't understand what I'm saying, that's completely fine. You will learn all this when you start working with Node. Now, similar to frontend, we need a JavaScript framework for the backend as well. Express provides you all the tools you need to build APIs. Remember. Remember in the beginning of the video we talked about how dining area is the front end and the kitchen is the back end of a restaurant an api would be the equivalent of the server of the restaurant basically you place all your orders or requests with the api and the api responds to you with the information you need an api does this with the help of the data stored in a database so in addition to express you need to use a library like mongoose to talk to the database mongoose is a node.js library for mongodb which is a popular database i know all this sounds confusing but it's not that hard when you start using it to get acquainted with express you can quickly go through their documentation but to actually learn express and mongoose you can follow along with this video by traversy media and create a web app from scratch i recommend directly by building because if you have come so far you already know enough programming to pick express easily with this project and if you finish this step you would have already covered but another 20% of the journey now you are on the last leg you need one final push and that would come by building the back end of the instagram project that you started add the capability to upload photos and follow each other by storing all the required information in a database create a news feed that contains actual photos of your friend and not the dummy data once you do that you will finish the last mile of the journey and this brings me to the final big mistake many people make they don't trust the process they start this long journey of learning web development they copy a few projects on the way and add 
them to their resume eventually they are not able to find the job and they give up every step of the journey is important so don't skip any step and trust the process it might take you slightly longer but you'll eventually get there now i did not get a chance to cover how to prepare for coding interviews in this video if you are interested you can watch this video my name is sahil and i'll see you in the next one